नमस्कार कंटिन्यूइंग विद आवर वीडियो सीरीज ऑन द रिफ्रेशर मैनुअल ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ एग्जीक्यूशन मैटर्स फॉर द स्टाफ एट डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट्स एट पंजाब हरियाणा एंड यूटी चंडीगढ़ टुडे इन चैप्टर फोर पार्ट सेवन वी शैल लुक इन टू certain other aspects concerning modes and procedure for execution today we shall look into issuance of precept garnishee order transfer of execution application and execution by appointment of a receiver we shall also briefly look into the various flow charts which we have prepared for the purpose of understanding this chapter more clearly so without further ado let me take you to chapter 4 part 7 issuance of precept section 46 cpc the precept aims at preventing alienation of the property of the judgment debtor not located within the jurisdiction of the court which passed the decree if the property to be attached is situated outside the jurisdiction of the court in which the execution application is pending the court may order to issue precept to any other court which would be competent to execute such decree to attach any property belonging to the jd and specified in the precept on such order helmer the execution clerk shall issue precept on performa number 2 appendix e cpc which is as follows so we have also provided with performa number 2 concerning precept under section 46 cpc and this is the performa which is to be signed by the judge and seal of the court is to be there the court through which a precept is sent shall proceed to attach the property in the manner prescribed however no attachment under precept shall continue for more than 2 months unless the period of attachment is extended by an order of the court which passed the decree or unless before the determination of such attachment the decree has been transferred to the court by which the attachment has been made and the decree holder has applied for an order for sale of such property garnishi order order 21 rule 46 a cpc In a garnishee order, the decree holder seeks to reach money or property of the judgment debtor in the hands of third party. Thus, the third party may be ordered by the court to pay the judgment creditor the debt due to the judgment debtor. A garnishee is the debtor of the judgment debtor. He is the person who is under obligation to pay debt to the judgment debtor or to deliver any movable property to him. Garnisher is the person in whose favor the decree is passed. that is the decree holder hence a garnishee order is an order of the court to attach money or goods belonging to the judgment debtor in the hands of a third person and consequently the debt due by the debtor of the judgment debtor to be available to the decree holder without involving him in the suit transfer of execution application order 21 rule 5 cpc the court where execution is pending but does not have jurisdiction as either the property is not situated there or the judgment debtor does not reside there can transfer the execution to the court having the jurisdiction over the matter for satisfying the decree where the decree holder requests for transfer of execution application to some other court and the court where the execution application is pending passes the order of transfer of execution application a helmet or execution clerk shall prepare a certificate certificate of non satisfaction of decree to the effect that the satisfaction of the decree has not been obtained by execution in that court and in case of part satisfaction it shall be mentioned as to what part of the decree has been executed and what remains to be executed this certificate has to be prepared on a separate sheet of paper and shall be signed by the presiding officer or person competent or authorized by presiding officer to sign it 
Helmut or execution clerk shall, along with the execution file, send the copy of the order, copy of decree, and non satisfaction certificate to the transferee court on performa number three, four, and five, appendix E CPC. Performa number three, four, and five, appendix E CPC are as follows. So we have provided in the manual. Performer number three, which speaks with regard to the order sending decree for execution to another court under order 21, rule 6 CPC. Performer number four, the certificate for non satisfaction of decree under order 21, rule 6 CPC. And performer number five, that is certificate of execution of decree transfer to another court under order 21, rule 6 CPC. Helmer, the execution clerk, shall also make entries in register number 23, register of decrees received from or transferred to other courts in the district or other districts for execution under order 21, rule 6 CPC. Execution by appointment of a receiver, section 51, order 40 CPC and volume 1, chapter 12 C of rules and orders. The court can order to appoint a receiver and it is one of the modes of execution section 51 cpc the appointment of a receiver may be there where the value of property is sufficient to bear the cost and where such appointment is expected to be conducive to harmonious relations between the judgment debtor and decree holder and to provide for the discharge of the decree in a satisfactory manner volume 1 chapter 12 c of rules and orders on finding it to be just and convenient, the court can appoint a receiver before or after passing the decree, remove any person from the possession or custody of the property, commit the same to the possession, custody or management of the receiver, and confer upon the receiver all such powers as to bringing and defending suits and for realizing management, protection, preservation, and improvement of the property, the collection of the rents and profits thereof, the application and disposal of such rents and profits and the execution of documents as the owner himself has or such of those powers as the court thinks fit. However, the court cannot order to remove from the possession or custody of property any person whom any party to the suit does not have a part present right so to remove. Order 40, Rule 1, CPC. The court may, by general or special order, fix the amount to be paid as remuneration for the services of the receiver, Order 40, Rule 2, CPC. Every receiver so appointed shall furnish such security, if any, as the court thinks fit duly to account for what he shall receive in respect of the property, submit his accounts at such periods and in such form as the court directs, Pay the amount due from him as a court directs and be responsible for any loss occasioned to the property by his willful default or gross negligence. Order 40, Rule 3, CPC. Where a receiver fails to submit his accounts at such periods and in such form as the court directs or fails to pay the amount due from him as a court directs or occasions loss to the property by his willful default or gross negligence, the court may direct his property to be attached and may sell such property and may apply the proceeds to make good any amount found to be due from him or any loss occasioned by him and shall pay the balance, if any, to the receiver. Order 40, Rule 4, CPC. So these are all about the... Uh, important provisions in chapter four with regard to the modes and procedure of, of execution. So in order to understand this chapter more easily and comprehensively, we have also provided the flow charts on the various aspects covered under chapter four of the execution manual. Now the first flow chart relates to the modes of execution that we had covered. The second flow chart relates to the proceedings by Ahilmad or execution clerk on receipt of execution application. The third flow chart pertains to persons against whom warrant of arrest of civil prison cannot be issued. 
fourth flow chart deals with procedure to be followed by ahmed or execution clerk in issuance of warrant of arrest fifth flow chart relates to precautions to be taken by bailiff on receipt of warrants of arrest sixth flow chart deals with the situations when judgment debtor shall be released from the detention before expiration of the period of detention seventh flow chart deals with the properties liable to attachment or attachment and sale eighth flow chart deals with the property of public servant to be exempted from attachment notification number 186/37 dated 2nd of october 1940 of the central government Ninth flow chart is a list of properties not liable to be attachment or sale. Tenth flow chart deals with the property of agriculturist exempted from attachment and sale. Eleventh flow chart deals with the procedure to be followed by bailiff at the time of handing over the attached movable property to the custodian. Next flow chart is the procedure in attachment of movable property. Then we have also provided with a flow chart pertaining to duty pertaining to duties of receiver. Then officials who can conduct sale. steps for issuance of notice of proclamation points to be noted before issuing a proclamation for sale mode of service of proclamation by bailiff how auction is conducted persons prohibited for making a bid receiving sale amount depositing sale amount disbursement of purchase money deduction to be made from the amount to be paid to decree holder confirmation of sale handing over of possession इसके साथ ही हमने इसी चैप्टर को हिंदी में भी अनुवाद किया है ताकि हमारे जो अहमद और एग्जीक्यूशन क्लर्क हैं उनको बहुत अच्छे से ये चैप्टर समझ में आए तो हम अपने अगली वीडियो की श्रृंखला में हिंदी में अनुवाद हुए इस चैप्टर के बारे में बात करेंगे तब तक के लिए नमस्कार